<laughs> so guys it is Alora and I'm back again with another haul tour video and this time I'm standing in front of Honors Hall well not in front of next to because I really want to stand in front of this tree but this sun really is kind of like getting you girl I like this spot I like this spot so um, Honors Hall is going to be right here. This is going to be the hall for our upperclassmen honor students. So unlike Rollins Hall, which is going to have um, a lot of communities in it, Honors Hall is going to be specifically reserved for our upperclassmen honor students. And we hold about 250 students, so it is very competitive to get into this hall. So we're going to take a walk through Honors Hall. You're going to see why everybody wants to live here. And let's get going. jail cell right now because honors hall is technically closed at this time uh, but basically if you ever need anything if you lock yourself out of your room or if you forget your id because you do need your id in order to swipe into the halls we have an entrance here and an entrance here if you do ever need that kind of stuff uh, the front desk will see you and they'll be able to assist you it's also good to just get to know your front desk staff as well so that way they're familiar with you and they become less frustrated with you if you're someone who constantly locks yourself out also something I do want to point out, right across the street is going to be a car wash and UNTPD. So if you, did, if you ever did have an issue or anything like that, UNTPD is right there. If you're the type to get in trouble, UNTPD is right there. <laughs> um, but from my personal experience, I did have an issue where I needed to get UNTPD involved. And you know they were very thorough, um, they are very understanding, and they helped me with my situation. And it's gone for now. And if y'all want a story time about that, <laughs> it's a story. But let's go back to the tour, shall we? So right now I am standing in the Honors Hall lobby area. Basically there's seating over here. There's also going to be like a little meetup room in there. So if you did ever have like club meetings or if your RA is doing a wing meeting, you guys will probably meet in there. Out here, um, Honors Hall already does have limited seating. So I don't think they're gonna change much due to COVID-19 about how seating works out here. But this is going to be your basic lounge area. Um, right over here, we do have a music practice room. We only have the one and you would still do, um, you would check it out virtually from your front desk. And also back here around the corner, we do have individual bathrooms. And so that way, if you ever, let's say your roommate is using the bathroom, taking a super long dump or something like that, you can always come out here <laughs> to use the bathroom. Uh, or if you have guests and you don't want them going into your room, we have bathroom for them to use as well. And also I lied, I'm a liar. There's actually two music practice rooms. Guys, this is why I'm an English major, not a math major. I can't count. Right now, I am standing inside of the Honors Hall kitchenette, and we have a sink here for, like, for you to wash your dishes. There's a fridge. Make sure you put your name on stuff if you're going to put it in the fridge so that we no one else eats it. Um, we have microwaves, stove top, and oven and pots and pans and whisks and just basically anything you could ever need to like cook things with. Uh, basically, if you wanna use this kitchen, you're gonna give your ID to the front desk so that way they know who's using this kitchen because we do wanna make sure you guys clean up after yourselves. And let's be honest, you guys are honor students. Your upper, your, your upperclassmen and your honor students. Clean up after yourself. college and unlike freshman residence halls and even some upperclassmen residence halls we give you the supplies right over there to use the pool table and the ping pong table because it's the honors college and we're using the honors system here so guys don't break shit is <laughs> pretty much the only thing um and once quiet hours start these doors will lock and you won't be able to use this room and i believe there's a key to be able to get in here but sometimes they just leave the door unlocked but basically if you ever want to use these things you don't have to go check anything out from the front desk or anything like that. Just be responsible. So this is going to be the laundry room here at Honors Hall. 
So this laundry room is going to be centralized, meaning it's going to be the only laundry room that all the residents share. But keep in mind, only 250 people live here and you see these units and the other ones around the corner. So you're not really gonna have a hard time doing your laundry. These laundry facilities are going to be coinless. Basically, that means you don't have to pay to do your own laundry. That's already kind of included in your tuition. You're just responsible for buying your own detergent. And we do have instructions on our walls on how to do laundry, just in case you don't know how to do your laundry. And it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Some people don't know, and it's cool. Right over here is going to be a line of vending machines. So again, if you wanted to sit down while your laundry's going, study, you can buy a snack or a drink. It does not take flex. It takes real money, not fake school money. <laughs> cabinet space to the top and cabinet space to the bottom. Basically, um, the kitchen area doesn't mean that we give you a fridge or a microwave. You do have to provide those things on your own. Basically, it means appliances you normally wouldn't be able to have, you'd be allowed to have here. For example, a um, toaster, a um, toaster oven, or a, um, what is it called? It's the stove, but it's magnets, so hand, no burn, but pot burn. If you know what that's called, please tell me in the comments. Handle burn, pot burn. <laughs> um, right over here is going to be your temperature control. So again, this is kind of exclusive to upperclassmen residence halls with the exception of Victory and Rollins, but you can control the temperature in your room. Um, there is a minimum and a maximum, but basically you and your roommate need to come together, come, come to Jesus moment and figure out what temperature you both like having this room at. So I'm standing between two rooms right now. So let's just say this is your room and this is your roommate's room. So both of you are going to get keys. Your key can both get you into the front door, but only your individual key can get you into your individual room. And so the way it works is you'll both be able to lock these doors, but you share a common area and you share the bathroom out here. So you can think of it like a little apartment, like a little mini apartment. You do have your own space to go to, but you still have to be courteous of somebody else. And the bathroom, it is only going to be the two of you sharing it, so it's not going to be suited like how it is in some of our other bathrooms where it would be four to a bathroom. Right over here, you have a dresser. It does have three drawers, and the drawers are pretty deep. And then you've got your sink and vanity area right over here. You have cabinet space just for you, and you're actually going to have four drawers for your sink and a big old mirror right here. So these mirrors and this sink is going to be a lot bigger than how you would see in typical freshman residence halls and even some of our upperclassmen residence halls. And the closets, it's going to be sliding doors. They don't get stuck, they're pretty smooth. And again, you can't bring your entire wardrobe with you, but you've got a good amount of space in your closet. So that's why I recommend bringing things like totes and shelves in order to create more storage space. All right guys, so that was Honors Hall. And if you did like that tour that I gave you, please hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe. If you wanted me to elaborate more on the Honors College, the benefits of being in the Honors College, is it worth it? Um, if you were like an AP student, you know, back in high school, should you join the Honors College at any university, not just UNT in general? Um, if I missed anything, if you wanted me to talk more about the rooms or the uh, environment of Honors College or Honors Hall, I'm more than happy to do so. Just bring it up in the comments. And if enough people um, request it, then I'll do it. 
So uh, again, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell so you don't miss any more tours from me. And if you do have a haul request, let me know. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.